We spent the second half of 2020 exclusively exploring North Cebu, but since the start of 2021, we've only been exploring South Cebu. Today, we're excited to finally return to North Cebu to visit what many say is one of Cebu's very best beaches, Maravilla Beach in Tabuelan. Been driving for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, just stopped off at our favorite gas station here in Sogo. We always stop here and get gas whenever we're coming north. It is really cool to be back up here in North Cebu. It's been a long time, haven't been here all year. Anyway, we're just taking a quick restroom break and then still got like at least an hour and a half drive left. To get there, we drove north to Sogo before crossing over the center of the island to reach the west coast of Cebu. From there, it was a very short drive to reach Maravilla. We just parked here at the parking for Maravilla Public Beach. This is a pretty long stretch of beach here in North Cebu. This is the, like I just said, the public beach. This is the normal, like the main one most people come to. But there's actually a lot of beach resorts along this beach. I'm pretty sure it's like San Romeo where you can just walk to each of them, walk down the beach. So we're gonna start here. And the plan is to walk along the beach, check everything out, see how it is, give you guys the tour. <laughs> Are you excited, Isar? Yes, beach day, baby. Yeah, beach day, baby. What's up? All right, so here's the actual entrance to the public beach. But as I noticed that everyone seems to be going this way. So we're just going to walk that way first. See what we see. We got all day at the beach, so no rush. We haven't really explored much yet. We're just walking the beach a little bit. Just stopped under this tree to apply sunscreen because it is a hot day out. I'm burning. Guys, it's only like 9 a.m. and you might not be able to tell because it's a wide lens, but there's a lot of people out there. This beach is really popular, more than I realized. I thought San Romeo was more popular, but I'm definitely wrong. <laughs> this is a lot of people, but it seems nice so far. We just need to keep exploring. So we walked all the way down to the far end of the beach and there's these ruins here that kind of remind me of the ruins on uh, Bantayan, if you've ever seen that, it's pretty famous. But there's like more ruins back here, it looks like a whole like ruin village, it's really strange. This is very, very unexpected. I knew there was a beach here. I didn't know about this like village of ruined houses, I guess, on the on the beach. Uh, this is this is really unexpected. Really, really interesting. If you come to this beach, don't skip this part because it is a lot like those ruins on Bantayan, but there's way more of them. I mean, it's really similar being on the cliff, just like Bantayan, but there's way more and there's like nobody else here. Not only were these ruins very interesting to see, they also offered what has to be the best view of the beach and surrounding area. I hate to compare, but in a way, this felt even more beautiful than the famous ruins on Bantayan. Brownie! Sleepy time? Okay, you nap. We're just gonna go film a little. We both absolutely love finding something so unexpected as this, but we did drive all the way here to enjoy the beach, so we're gonna head back to the beach, maybe try to find somewhere to eat or get a table to set our things on before we actually go in and swim. So far, this place is awesome, man. I can't believe more people aren't talking about this. I 
have a magic. A magic? What is it? Whoa! How did you, how did she do that? <laughs> what? Okay, we stopped here at Offshore Hub. This is the first restaurant we saw when we came in, and still I think the only one we've seen. There might be more, but we just don't know the beach well enough. We walked and we looked, but the menu here looks good, so hopefully the food's good. Some other people were eating here before, but no one else is here. <laughs> I don't because know. Because everyone just brought their food. Yeah, at beaches like this that aren't meant for like tourists. foreign tourists, yeah. Most people just bring their food, so there's not a lot of restaurants here, which is unfortunate because it makes you miss stuff like Alona where there's restaurants all up and down the beach, but it's okay. It is it is what it is. Honestly, there being one restaurant here is more than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, Guys, I bought the burger, don't judge me too much, okay? Because I tried to order other things and like barely anything is available. If you've never been to the Philippines, you have to get used to that. A lot of times, when you go to restaurants, especially in the province, half the menu is unavailable. <laughs> it's just totally normal, you have to get used to it. Food wasn't that great, but considering we fed both of us for only 280 pesos and we both got shakes for that, I mean, I can't really complain. It's not bad. If you don't bring food here, that's an option. Or you can try to look around for something else, but maybe bring food to this beach. We ended up getting a table here at this, just this random spot that Izai liked. It's under the shade, so it's it's pretty nice. But Izai was saying that they don't allow you to just like leave your bag on the beach. So we got a table, it was 400 pesos for the table. And then we're gonna just leave our stuff here to go swim. We did forget our snorkels, unfortunately, but by the looks of it, it wouldn't matter. It looks like it's only beach and seagrass. I'm not seeing any corals. The tide's starting to come in now as well. Actually kind of reminds me of Dumaluan Beach more than Alona, but with like way more people. Mm, yeah. You think so? Yeah. We actually get comments all the time from people asking us, how do we keep our stuff safe while we are out swimming? We do lock the bags up really well uh, so that people can't get into them very easily. But it's true, if someone just took the whole bag, yeah. <laughs> It wouldn't matter, but normally we just try to keep it within eyesight. So we're in the water, but we can look back and check on it. Uh, I know still, you could still easily take it, but we just kind of have to trust. There's nothing else we can really do. And no one has ever even like come near our stuff. I'll be like, is someone taking it? <laughs> and I'll look and it's like a wide perimeter. No one's even like walking by it half the time. <laughs> Welcome to Maravilla Beach. <laughs> The view from this spot here is so amazing. You can see the whole beach, absolutely gorgeous, but the wind is blowing so hard. The tide is coming in. We don't have very long we can be out here or else we won't be able to get back with the camera. But this is a gorgeous spot. This part of the beach is so gorgeous. There's a lot of people down on the other part, but down here at the end near the ruins up there, there's like nobody here. It's really nice. I don't know why everyone always likes to gather around just one spot on beaches. Isai and I always love to like go down to the end where there's nobody at. So much nicer. If you come to this beach and you want to get pictures on the palm tree, the coconut tree, which by the way, normally when you see a coconut tree like this, where you can sit or stand on it, back me up on this, right? They're always taken. There's like a line. There's nobody here to get on this thing. No one is actually trying to get on that thing. At all? Yeah. We had it all like, to ourselves. I guess it's because it's not what Maravilla is famous for. They, so like, they don't even know it's here. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, ooh, there's a, there's a coconut. I, we need to take a picture with a coconut. But if you want to get a picture here at this coconut tree, it is right in front of the ruins. So all the way down at the, if you're facing the ocean, right side of the beach go all the way you'll find this tree you'll find the ruins you'll find this thing back here yeah there's this a is... lot of leaning coconut down here so you can choose which one you like best 
but I'm pretty sure you can go to this little one because it's easier for you to climb up. Yeah, and it's easy yeah, for me unlike, even. Unlike this tall one. You're gonna swim still? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it. on the beach it's not bad by any means but it's a little coarse but the sand in the water is so soft it's like walking on a blanket or on snow or something Guys, it's crazy how windy it is here. Izai and I really enjoyed swimming. Honestly, swimming here just, it made me really, really nostalgic for when I traveled here in 2017 and when me and Izai traveled together in 2019. Basically everything before, you know, the pandemic happened, it, it made me so nostalgic for it. We haven't truly traveled in that way since Olongo Island. It's been so long, I know it looks like we're traveling all the time if you watch the channel but we actually film a lot of the videos in one weekend and then sometimes we'll miss many weeks without actually traveling or doing anything even when we're traveling we're not staying in hotels this is all a day trip we've got like a three hour drive to get back home i think i'm over it maravilia beach was an amazing place to visit and easily one of the most beautiful beaches in cebu but we felt like we couldn't enjoy it fully this trip kind of pushed us over the edge to be honest. We want to make sure we can stay in hotels from now on so we can fully explore and enjoy the locations we're trying to show you. We're still working on where to go and what to see, but very soon the vlogs will hopefully return to being about the adventure of staying in and getting to know a new area instead of just rushing through day trips. Either way, whether a day trip or a few nights, Maravilla Beach in Tabuelan is a must visit if you're exploring North Cebu.